Everybody shut the fuck up! Yes, yes, it's your boy Dems2 and E. Please do not mad me. Yes, guys, I'm back with another story time. Before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe, comment, share. My socials will be in the description as well as the outro of this video. Without further ado, let's get into it. My eyes are burning. <laughs> let's get straight into it. So, as you lot can tell from the title, it's another dramatics, it's a theatrics. So, this story time is based on someone that I quote unquote had beef with and told me to come to Beckham. So let's get into it. So this story time's actually kind of mad. Like what it bases on is quite mad. So this actually started off with my ex. So let me explain. So I can't remember if it's when we broke up or because when we broke up we've had so much on offs and there was a point where we was like friends but i don't remember if it was that time before anyway um she had told me about a certain somebody and certain things they were saying and trying to do and obviously i'm not having that one thing with me when i'm in a relationship with somebody you, you cannot cross the person if you're crossing them you're crossing me that's just the kind of person i am you know what i'm saying so she had the person's number and sent it to me i told her send it to me and i can't lie to you i was a bit messy I was messy. I leaked on my Snapchat. Now, I tried to find a screenshot of me posting it, but I can't find it. Because I also wrote like a massive paragraph. And I can't really get into it. There's more to it as well. That's the reason why I didn't do it just to be messy, but also because what was being said and what had happened, it wasn't acceptable. But I can't speak on it because it is a sensitive topic and I may get demonetized. So I cannot speak on it for that reason. But um, yeah, I did that. And you know when you always have them people or that one person that always feels the need to be that Karen and just interfere. So that's the main character of today's story time, as you would have seen in the intro of this video. Yeah, we're going to get into it now. So this jacket potato looking ass, yeah. This big Humpty Dumpty. This big headed scarecrow looking ass, yeah, felt the need to intrigue himself in my business. Now, don't get me wrong, yes, I put I put it out there publicly for those who see, but I did that more for awareness and also because people need to be exposed for their wrongs. That's just what I believe. So I did that for that reason. And he felt the need to come into my inbox because this is on Snapchat, or so on my messages, he felt the need to come here. I don't remember what he said at first, but I was not having it. I'm just like, you're an outsider, who are you to come say anything? And he tries to justify it by saying that I posted it. Yes, I did post it. I know I posted it. I posted this my account. But don't come here trying to twist it to be something like it's not. And I just didn't like what he said kind of thing. And one thing with me is I don't do this internet stuff no more. I don't go back and forth. Sometimes it'll happen where you get into a little internet feud or whatever, but at that time, I was having it because I was just mad as hell. And one thing in me, I've got very low tolerance. Very, very low. Seekingly low. Accordingly low. Excruciatingly low. So for you to come here and talk shit to me, and I don't even know you from nowhere, I wasn't having it. I wasn't having it. And that's why I don't even like getting into internet arguments because it's to me it's just like I don't want to go back and forth when I'd rather just fizz it out with you kind of thing. And I was on some, some type of smoke. I don't know why, looking back at it, but I was. I was. I guess because it was a sensitive topic and 
I felt a weight about that person doing that because I already was mad at that person and trying to get onto them, but they wasn't answering or whatever kind of thing. So it was already a back and forth with that person. So now you're coming into the scene and trying to call something. Then I was like, okay, cool. You doing all this talking, talking, talking? Pull up. Pull up. So he felt brave. Clearly he was wearing the cape on his fat back, yeah? His, his fat hunchback, yeah? Looking like he's got more roles than Greg's, yeah? So he felt brave and he sent me his address. And he told me to come to Peckham. Now, we're going to get into it a lot more because it's, it's actually funny, not only because of that, but hearing what I heard, it's just, it's just funny. It's nothing deep, it's just funny. So, this colostral has sent me his address. Cool, no problem. And turns out it's not far from me anyway. So, you would have fired, we could have fired. Because, as I said, I was on goal, I saw red, even though it's not that serious. As I said, my temper, my tolerance is this small. So I said, okay, cool. No problem. And of course, even that as well, there's other cast members we're going to say in the story time. I'm not going to name no names or nothing like that, but there was three other individuals that knew about this at the time because I received a phone call. Sorry, I can't talk. I received a phone call. One of them was my friend. The other two... One of them I know of, the other one is a friend of the first friend. So we're going to say friend number one. That's the one I was on the phone to that called me at the time. And obviously I was like running and raving and she was like, what happened? Da, 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 da. She saw my story and I explained it to her as I am to you guys now. And obviously, one thing I will say, she's a real friend. If it's beef, she's there to back it. Difference is anytime she has been there, these people were never pulling up. They're not really about it. They're not really on no static. But we're going to get into it now. So it was her. And then we're going to say friend number two. Now, with friend number two, it's funny because someone that I used to be friends with, she was also mutual friends with. And I fell out with that person for different reasons. She fell out with them for different reasons also. But I fell out with her. Well, I stopped talking to her because I stopped talking to that person she was friends with. That's just how I am. If you're friends with someone and I'm no longer friends with you, if you also was friends with that person I fell out with, I'm going to fall out with you too because I don't really, you know what I'm saying? That probably sounded confusing, but I know what I mean. So yeah, me and her ended up reuniting that same day actually. Um, and then also friend number three. So friend number three, she knows both of them, but she's friend. She's a friend of friend number one. I don't know this girl. Let me Before I get into it more, let me tell you, I don't know this girl from nowhere. Never spoken to her. Never seen her, never heard of her a day in my life. And as I get into it, you're going to understand why I've just made that point very clear. So, as I've told them now, they're ready to ride out for me as well. Like, come to come with me to pull up on this house, at his house. Cool. So, everyone's in South. South is, like, local, you know what I'm saying? They're not all far from me. Friend number two actually lives in my area, not far from me. So I, with that being mind as well, I thought, wouldn't it make more sense for her to meet me? Because we literally live walking distance from each other. But that didn't happen. Them lot thought it was smarter to all meet up with each other at friend number one's area. Friend number three also doesn't live far from me, but friend number two is closer. Anyway, they all end up meeting each other. And I'm just seeing time's going by, it's, it's, it's going by very quick and my phone just flashed and, <laughs> and I'm just waiting about. And it's just like, it's killing time. And I'm just thinking, time's, so much time's gone by, I may as well have just pulled up on him on my own. Cause I would have done that, but because they're not all, all on it to do so, cool. If you don't want to pull up with me, we can, but I ain't on the long thing. If I'm pulling up on somebody, I'm going to pull up on somebody. I don't have time to waste or, to, or for, for me to wait. So a lot of time, it's even been an hour. And I'm just like, he's like, like, what are you lot taking so long for? Like, we're not, are you not looking at any man on the way there? Like, is there a reason why you're not taking so long? Like, you lot got a secret date afterwards? Like, why is it taking so long? We're going to pull up on someone. We're not going to look no man. This is not no Tinder. This is not no Tinder. It's, it's, it's on-site beef. Why are we here taking long? trying to get ready like we're going for a music video shoot. Like, what's going on? I don't understand. Like we're getting ready for rolling, for rolling loud. Like we're getting ready for, for, um, for wireless. We're going to Peckham. 
We're not going to wireless. Why is it taking so long? Like, come on now. So I'm impatient. That's one thing of me. If I wait around people too long, I get impatient. There's times I fool out of people over things like that. I don't waste time. I don't have time to waste anymore. I, I don't. I never did. So I'm getting impatient. I'm getting annoyed and all this other stuff. And it's taking long. And um, obviously, you know, I've still got to be a responsible sibling. This is what I'm saying. Like, it's not even about that because we have plenty of time. When me and, when I spoke to these lot about the situation, it was at least what twelve, one o'clock. So why is it taking hours later to the point now it's time to get my sister and mum to wait, and now these lot are ready. And I say by these times that I'm not really here, and I'm on it. And even if I didn't have to do that, I still wasn't on it anyway. Because I've waited so long, like I said, I could have gone on my own, and then now you lot are ready, and now when you lot are ready, I must jump on you lot's bandwagon and be like, yeah, let's go, the four musketeers. No. So by these times I told you, so I'm not, I can't now, I'm not on it now, because you lot have waited, made me wait so long, I'm not even on it. And like I said, it wasn't even that serious anyway, but whatever, whatever now. And now they're all mad. Yeah, to be fair, friend one wasn't mad so much. It's friend two and friend three that were moving a bit weird about it. But friend three, that's why right, now we're going to get into her. Like I said at the start, don't know her, never seen her, never heard of her, none of the sort. The way this girl was scrunching up her face like one piece of paper, I've never seen such scrunching up her face looking like Daffy Duck and Donald Duck mixed together with that long face, that long Rivendell face. I'm just like, who are you? That's what I was thinking. Like, I don't even, my whole thing is, I don't even know why she was a part of the ride out because I don't know you from anywhere. Like, I get your, your friend, your friend of my friends, but I never invited you. I, like I said, I was willing to go on my own, but you lot was willing to come. I don't know you from nowhere. So why are you even here? You're here, scrunch up your face at the bus stop. I don't even know who you are. I never, I never invited you. You had no invite from me personally. You're an intruder. At this point, you you intruded the guest list. Why are you even here? So that made me annoyed because you're you're, you're mad at me. I should be the angry one because I've waited so long in my house for you lot. For what reason? And now I don't even want to go because you lot took so long. So that was my whole thing. So obviously, she's getting angry, getting angry. And they're telling me, friend one and friend two telling me, as if I'm meant to be scared that she's getting angry at me. Get angry. No one invited you. You you came on your own terms. That's your own problem. So I've gone home now because I've seen them at the bus stop in my house. I've gone home after all that. And I don't, like I said, I don't know this girl. So after a point, I didn't care because who are you? You're no one to me. Uh, you're not part of this. You're just, you're just an intruder. You're just a, you're just a side cast. So I obviously, like I said, no friend, no friend too. And as I, as I said, I've reunited I reunited with friend number two, so I had her in Snap uh, as well. And I've seen her make a little stupid indirect talking about some people are unserious. Now, that's one thing I don't like. If I know you and you know me and you're indirect to me, that's just weird and I, I won't respect you. If you have something to say, come and say it to me. Why are you going to make that publicly to other people? You could have come to me and said something. When you was in my face, you could have said that. You had nothing saying. But as soon as I have now left and told you a lot of the reasons why I can't attend to whatever and I've gone home, now you want to throw a little shade. It's giving you a seven, it's giving you an eight, it's giving you a nine and not your ten because I don't think even your tens will do that. What what in the primary school essay is going on here? I'm going to throw these little indirects. You, you could have come and said that to me. Throwing more shade in a fucking colouring book. Like, it's just weird. You're throwing more shade than a fucking canvas. You could have come and di directly said that to me. You could have been more direct than a credit card. But you'd rather go and post that virtually for people to see but not come to me. I don't like things like that. Now, there's more to it with that, but I don't want to get into it. I feel like I'm going a bit off track, but I had to give that summary so you lot get the grafting of, of it as well. So that's the reason why I didn't pull up in the end. But... Either way, it was a waste of time for another reason, but we'll get into that near the end. So, moving on, back to the fat scarecrow, back to the iron head, back to the ironing board. So, with him now, 
as you've seen in the start, I did give him my ID. He didn't come. And then Jack said whatever reason why I didn't pull up to him. But the plan was to pull up to him. I still pulled up later on. I never seen you. Nothing. Didn't come at your house, anything like that. Didn't hear from you. So I thought, okay, you're clearly not serious. I just, I just left it. I just left it. Now, now. <laughs> What's so funny to me is, is I don't know if I posted his face in the end and, and made a snap about him. I may have, I may have not, I don't remember. All I do know is that, so another ex now, she was involved, but she come and messaged me. And guess what, I t I guess what she told me? She told me that same guy that was giving me verbal, telling me to pull up and all the rest of it, he's not even from London. She told me she's from, he's from Essex. So my question is, how the hell have you told me, how have you come about telling me to pull up to you, to come to you in Peckham to fight, but you don't even live in London. You're not even from London. You're not even near London. You're in a whole Essex. You're right, love. You're, you're from Essex. The only way is Essex. Not no London. You're not from no London. No way in London. The only way isn't Essex. Isn't London even. So I'm like, wow. It, it, it was just funny to me that all that time, with all, all of that I went through, and he was even from the area. He was even from the ends. So, in a nutshell, it was all a waste of time anyway, because, like I said, waiting around for people who wasn't even on it clearly, and then to find out he's not even from it anyway. And then she also told me that he's known for giving verbal and not acting on it. So from then I just thought, he's just, just a clown. He's a circus act. And that's the moral of the story. One thing I've learned is... Don't give people time of day. That's one thing I shouldn't have done. I should not entertain that. I should have just instantly blocked him. If I felt like what he was saying has no relevance, wouldn't like what you're saying, I could have blocked him or just not even responded or anything like that. But my head took me to another place and that's something I got to learn. That's something personal for me. That's different. But it is what it is at the end of the day. I'm not bothered. But that's the story. And it's just like, it's just funny. Keyboard warriors will always be keyboard warriors at the end of the day. But when I found that out, I was just like, wow, like, you're not even from the ends. You're not even from the ends. <laughs> even from the ends. He looks like the type of guy who run his mouth so bad and then get pulled up on and then get beaten down and then be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just how the guy you look like. With his big fat head, he's just got a big head. How you got a big head but small brains? How's the circumference of your head the size of a, of a house? But you got brain cells of a microorganism. How does that work? See, my thing is with this ugly governor, Jeff and Clarence, Beans and Toast, Essex, Reject, looking ass. This big bubble head. This big iron head. Big, oh, he's just got a big head and it bothers me. Moral of the story, that's always a moral of the story. Don't involve yourself in things that do not concern you. And also, do not entertain foolish people because foolish, pe foolish people like that, yeah, as I've seen and as I've heard, end up really being the clown and the circus out of the show. And to be honest with you, these days, I don't really entertain people anyway, but that's two things I feel like anyone watching this, you should take away from the story time. Do you know what? I ain't got nothing else to say. He's a fool. He's got a fat head. And he definitely got dropped at birth. Said what I said. I'll take it back. Anyway, we're going to end the video there. I've been Dempsey2 and E. Please do not mad me. 
make sure you don't like and subscribe comment share my socials as i said will be in the outro and the description on this channel but more things coming for you lot very soon so keep your eyes then peeled but without further ado that's it over and out over and out over and out, over and out. Dance on the beat.